Hello, my name's Adam, and today we're going to talk about plant propagation using cuttings, and we'll be doing that with Holly today. I'm going to start by talking about what type of equipment we need. First and foremost, we need a good set of pruning shears that are clean, so you don't pass on any diseases to the plant that you are attempting to propagate. Next, you need components for your soil. On the left, there's perlite, and on the right is peat moss. You also need rooting hormone for to encourage root growth on the cuttings, and a pencil is also helpful. Let's start by combining equal parts perlite and peat moss, then mix them together. Pour your rooting compound into a separate container to not cross-contaminate. Go over to the host plant and take some cuttings that are 4 to 6 inches in length. Cuttings should be made at nodes, which are where the leaves come out of a branch. Remove all the leaves from the cutting except for the last two at the top of the branch. Take your cutting and dip it into the rooting hormone. Put your rooting medium in containers with drainage and then use the pencil to make holes to cover a number of nodes when you put them in the pots. Put the dipped cutting into the hole. Lightly compress the growing medium. Water the now potted cutting. Keep the cutting moist for four to six weeks. This can be done by placing it in a plastic bag and periodically watering, or placing it in a small greenhouse that has a self-watering system. Keep the cuttings in shade until you see new growth, and in a few weeks, you should have some new plants. 